guys. Now look, I want you to examine the rope and verify it's an ordinary piece of rope. No trap doors, escaping gases, no mirrors or strings, no multi-level marketing products or Scientology hidden in there anyway. Look, did, was it good? Good. Good solid rope? I mean. Good. Do you know what you're looking for? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> so how good could it be? I really want you to examine the rope. I want you to check out every single inch of the rope. Make sure it's, because later you're going to say, oh, it's got to snap in. He didn't give me enough time. She's going to be at the bar at the studio going, wham, wham, wham. Oh, you know, Chris, here was a guy. That must have been a trick rope. He didn't give me enough time to look at the guy there. Look. So check it out. Every, no, no, no. That's not good enough. I'm not satisfied. Hi, would you pull on it, sir? You pull on it, too. Pull on it, but now, nah. pull, pull. Make sure you guys look like babies. This is not a game. I'm serious. Come on, you look like a big he-man. You got balls. Pull on it. Yes. A solid piece of rope. This means nothing. It means nothing. In three minutes from now, I'm going to be doing some amazing things with the rope. And if you think for a second it's a trick rope, it means nothing. So, nah, people are going to come to you after the show and say, nah, was that a real piece of rope? And you're going to say, yes, it was the best goddamn piece of rope I've ever examined in my life! <laughs> and you! Do you have a bracelet that I can borrow? A solid bangle type ring, four inches in diameter, steel chrome. I have one embedded in my rear end. There it is. And you get the honor of examining that and verify that that too is absolutely solid. No gaps or trap doors or openings. Chris, right? Uh-huh. Chris, later they're going to come to you and they're going to say, Chris, it must have been a trick ring. One of them had a slit or a cut in it. And they're going to say it had to be because the things he was doing with the rope that now we know, we trust now, we love now. She wouldn't lie to us. It was a great piece of rope. But Chris, they're going to say, Chris, it's you. It must... Jesus Christ, Chris. It must be $14. I had that chrome bladed down at the bumper shop. Knock it off. It was a real solid piece of ring, steel ring thing. And you're going to say, yes, by God, I stake my reputation as a... What do you do? Structural engineer. Structural engineer! A structural engineer, no less! I've never had a better commitment. Is that a solid as a structural engineer? Yes, you've got my learned opinion on that, and that is a sound ring. Bullshit! Okay. <laughs> a solid ring. No, did you find the weld spot? Nope. Mr. Structural Engineer, I'll show you. it's that big bumpy part right over. Oh, this one doesn't have one. You're right. Do you see any holes in the ring, Mr. Structural Engineer? Yeah, the the You're the first guy to find it in 15 years. My God, he is a structural engineer. He found the hole in the ring. Now, the idea is to try to remove the ring. I'm going to stand up for this. Remove the ring from the rope without untying the knot. A solid rope that not examined every inch. Chris examined the, the ring, and he's a. You're not a structural engineer, are you? No. Are you, are you a seamstress or anything? Did you work with fabric at all? What do you do? I'm a banker. I'm going to do a trick with we money later. Stick around. All right. <laughs> Hold the ring. A ring and a rope, and the ring magically passes right through the rope. We have a miracle verified by a special engineer and a banker. When I toss the ring towards the knot. Watch, guys. Hop. Yes! Yes! It goes right... I'll show you how I do that. As a structural engineer, you're probably curious. Would you hold the ring while I hold the rope? I have a pair of magical scissors, and they cut right through the rope like this, Chris. Chris, cutting through the rope. You see crap like this every day down at the office, right? Building bridges. This, this is nothing compared to that. Actually, I use two pieces of rope, which I keep fastened together with super glue, like this. I call it super glue. They call it the house dressing across the street at the hotel. The only way to catch me when I do this, nah, where are you? Is to keep your eyes on the two ends. Chris? Into the pocket. Into the pocket they go. All the way in. Except for this one. Which stays out here with this one. Yes! And there it is, the big finish. You lead the applause, jump up and down, looking nuts. Wait till I finish. There it is. The middle's in the pocket. Mr. Special Engineer is going to examine everything and verify. Yes. Yes. 